Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Last time we left off, I had to pause it right where we were, and um, it was because we reached 30 minutes and I couldn't get through the forest. So here we go. Off we go. We're continuing exactly where we left off yesterday. Now, a lot of you might be asking, why don't you do your intro? Well, for reasons just like this, I want you guys to be able to go straight from one video to the next, throw my outro in between those, and that, you know, that way you don't have to... What is that? Okay, okay. Not sure that that's what I'm going for, but I think... Okay, fine. That way you can flow straight from one to the other. Jeepers, what is that? Tidy, it's a familiar egg. A familiar egg? <laughs> I'd recognize that egg anywhere. <laughs> That's how familiar it is. Oh, sorry. Uh, but didn't you tell me that familiars come from people's hearts? That they do, my lad. But not only from there. Familiars can be born whenever there's plenty of what you might call life force, see? The sky, the sea, the forest, the field. It doesn't matter where it is, Ollie boy. When enough life force builds up, out they pop. In fact, they can even be born from everyday objects if they're used long enough and loved hard enough. I know, I know, mad, ain't it? Wow, life force sure sounds powerful. So this egg is made from life force building up here in the forest, huh? There's quick you are. Life force is a mysterious and potent energy filled with wonder. But the results ain't always so magical. Sometimes instead of a friendly familiar, wild and vicious beasties are born instead. You mean the creatures that are always attacking us? They're very same. And the only way to teach them not to go around attacking people is to fight back, ain't it? Don't look so worried, man. We don't kill the poor things. We just send them somewhere where they can't bother us for a while. Okay. I wonder what kind of creature will come out of this egg. I can't wait to see it hatch. Well, you'll be waiting a while, Ollie boy. Looks, look a bit, look at the bits of, wow, I cannot read that. Look at the bits of tree round the edge of it. All withered, they, they are. Seems like the forest life force has taken a turn for the sparse. That must be why the fairies have all cleared out too, eh? Sorry if things stay as they are. This egg ain't hatching anytime soon. Gee, that's so sad. There must be something that we can do, Mr. Drippy. There is indeed, Ollie boy. And it's right there in your hands. Do you have, do I have to spell it out? All you have to do is cast a spell that can unweather the weathered bits, restore them to their former glory, if you know what I mean. Sure, Mr. Drippy. Let me see. The spell that can restore withered branches to how they used to be. Okay, so, spell casting. Uh, not gateway, not take heart, not give heart, not spring lock. Former familiar. Or reju- no. Form familiar, not former. <laughs> the previous familiar. No, uh, it's rejuvenate. Uh, elements unknown, effect shape unknown, rewinds time of an object, restoring it to its former glory. Nothing happened. Dang it. Alright, let's get closer. There we go. And now. Woo. Tidy. Look, Ollie boy. It's hatching. Witness the miracle of new life. Jeepers creepers, Sh should we help or something? Boom. Oh, neato, it hatched. We did it, Mr. Drippy. Oh, oh, is he hugging me? Oh, there's a beautiful, ah, oh, there's beautiful. There's nothing like a good hatchling to give me welling up. <laughs> Stop it, it tickles. I think he like I think he likes you. <laughs> He's cute. Okay, little one. We have to go now. Enjoy your life here in the forest, won't you? 
Uh, you ain't taking him him with you, Ellie boy. He only just hatched, Mr. Drippy. I can't let him come with us. He's, it's too dangerous. Yeah, you got the point, I suppose. Fair enough. Right, old little. Look after yourself, eh? Bye for now. Goodbye now, and take care. So he's not coming with us. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were going to, like... Okay, fine. I guess I can restore some of that. Uh, let's talk to him. Go! Go! Yeah, yeah, we'll go. We'll go. Alright. So, this is not the way that we were supposed to come to get out of the forest, but I'm glad I paused it from last time. We're already five minutes in. That would have been a, a 40 minute video. Jeez. Oh, wait. Oh, the star has changed. There's our new point of uh, origin place that we need to go. But before we do, there's a place up here to the north. Ha ha ha, look here. It seems to be sealed by some kind of magic. That's the narrator's voice, because it doesn't say a, a person. Spring lock. Boo. What'd we get? You obtain. wait, what? I obtained a forest harpoon? Oh wait, what's this? Okay, so this is a giant's tooth thing. Beast thing, giant tooth thing. Hmm. One or two. One or two. Tooth taken from giant. Knife like things. We're gonna switch out. All right, there you go, buddy. Uh, and do we have? Nope. I have no. Cl oh wait, wait, wait. Can we put it on Ollie Boy? Nope. We got the stick, and we got this. That one's two and five, and it's got mysterious runes on it. <gasps> Can we read runes yet? I bet that says shoe. <laughs> I just can't. All right. Um, no, and no. So the bachelor's, what is this? The bachelor's badge gives us plus two, and that gives us plus two to shield. No, wait, I thought that gave plus two to attack. But when Ollie uses it... Oh, 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 okay. I was wrong. I'm wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. We're good. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here! Oh, he's gone. He's like, nope, I'm out. Okay, we're gonna go south. Here, let's take north path real quick. Just take a quick peek. Hello. Hello, Tyke. Come on! Come on! Get some! Get him, Jazz Jack. Get him. Nicely done. Okay, so for those of you who have seen, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, um, if you've ever seen uh, Ponyo, 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 little fishy in the sea, the, um, before she metamorphs into a human, the feet look just like Jazz Jacks. I mean, identical. It's crazy. Wait, can we use the restore spell? I wonder. Rejuvenate? Nothing happened. Yeah, that's going to be a different spell. Hello, boar boar. Sword boar. Bacon. Watch this! Alright, we're going to cast the spell first, and the spell's going to be frostbite. We're going to cast on that guy right there, and then we're going to switch. I want to... Oops. Oh, oh, come on. I want to try something. Throw him out there. Get him, buddy. Psych up, psych up, psych up, go wild! Thirteen. You did it! Ow. So although it takes a second, he does get a pretty mean hit in there, doesn't he? 
Ooh, we got a pie. Nice. Alright. Here we go. Uh-oh. <gasps> well, <coughs> well, look who it is. It's the little uh, from before. How do young... How do youngin... Did he follow us? Looks like he wants us to follow him now. Is there something he wants to show us? I wonder. I wonder. Maybe he's found some of my fairy buddies, eh? Speaking of fairies, does he... Uh, he looks a lot like I'd imagine a fairy would. Look, then you... Wait, that's all he's speaking. Speaking of fairies, he looks a lot more like a... Uh, like I imagined a fairy would than you do, Mr. Drippy. Oh, he does, does he? Well, that just shows you what you know, doesn't it? <laughs> the cheek. <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta go chase him down. Chase him down. There we go. Oh, gosh, I cannot. Ah! I don't know how to controls. Run away, run away, run away! Oh, really? Really? Watch All right. this! We're just, just go straight in, straight in. Oh gosh. Woo, got it. Him. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he goes. Up, 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 up. Hi, buddy. Go! Okay. I don't understand. Hey, this looks kind of familiar. Hey, this looks kind of familiar. Of course it does, you bloker. It's a page from the Wizard's Companion. And it's finders keepers around these parts. That's the law of the jung... Law of the Jungle Forest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just grab it. Neato. Quick and Growth. I was just talking about this in the last episode. Uh, you received a page describing the Quick and Growth spell. Yay. Thanks for showing us the way. What's that? He's saying he'd reckon he could be useful to you, Ollie boy. Wants to tag along on our journey, he does. But, but he's just a kid. It's too dangerous. Aww. Ha! Cheeky little so-and-so, look who's talking, he says. <laughs> he means you're just a kid yourself, ain't it? And he's got a point. He he really said that? But don't fret, Holly boy. Creatures like him are born to be familiars. And traveling around with wizards like yourself is what familiars do, ain't it? Gee, I guess. Okay, you can come with us. Woo! Or I mean, goo! <laughs> You'd better give the little fellow a name then. That'll seal the deal, make it official, his master-like. Oh, his current name is Sid, but I'm not going to use Sid. To the person from last episode who suggested uh, the weapon shop. Where are you? Where are you? Hold on. Uh, Jason West. Another fun episode you checked... For the missing boy all around and in two shops. What about the weapon shop? So, from the last one, you shall now be my next familiar. <laughs> um, how do I go back? Where's backspace? Uh, oh, there we go. So, we shall call you Jason. Where's the capitals? How do I switch to... Oh, lowercase. 
Jason. Jason, Jason. And then I need a space, which can be found right there. And you just happen to have just the right amount of letters. Look at this. Jason West, you are now a fairy. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> Start! Are you sure you want to call the seed sprite Jason West? Yes. <laughs> sure, thanks. That's <clears throat> that's three whole familiars you got now, ain't it, Holly boy? And look at that. Uh, this one can evade attacks and all. Evade? Is that some kind of trick? Yeah. Is I suppose you could call it that. It's like defending, only you don't take any damage. The only thing is, it's proper quick, and you have to be a bit nifty with your timing. But then you're getting pretty tasty at the old at old fighting lark, ain't it? In fact, I might as well let you in on another little trick of the trade while we're here. Nito, what is it? Well, what is it? It is, if you do an attack at the exact moment an enemy is attacking you, you'll hit back with what's known as a counterattack. And if that works, your enemy will be stunned. They'll just sit there and let you whack them even more. Tidy, eh? You can you can tell when a perfect timed counterattack is wow well, wow wow hold on coffee time hmm perfect time to counterattack is because a little attack bubble down in the corner will flash blue it sounds a little complicated but I'll do my best Mr. Drippy tidy. <laughs> Okay, now we have the ability to go grow things, and if I'm not mistaken, hold on, where's, uh, nope, not there, right down there, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to go southbound, there was somewhere else that we couldn't get up to, right? I guess, I guess that was it, okay, so. Uh, southbound. Southbound and down. <clears throat> Hello, Itsy Bitsy. Boom. Incy. Incy. I this. keep calling him Itsy. All right, let's try this guy out. What do you got, Jason? Give him a good old attack. One. One. Oh, gosh. Evade. Dude. No. No way. Get out there. Take him out, dude. Okay, okay. We're gonna switch. And provisions. Provisions. Eat some bread. Eat some bread. Quickly. Quickly. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're gonna do provisions again, but we're gonna have a sandwich. Woo! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Go get that, go get that, go get that. Oh, whoa. Defend. Okay. Little blue bubble. I don't see a little blue bubble. Defend. Was that the counter? I don't know if that was a counter or not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, hold on. I said there was a little blue bubble. There we go. Got it. Counter attacks, man. That's is helpful. <laughs> yes. Woo! Nito! Nito! Incredible. That's that is a good good lesson. 
Dude, level 3 already. GG. Says Jack. Jason West. Nicely done, guys. <laughs> Alright, we need to head south. Southbound. Um, yeah, we're not going to stop. We'll just go to the right here. Go to the right, go to the right, go to the right. Nope, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just run it, run it up! We can do this! We can't do this. Oh, wait, wait, oh. I couldn't even defend against that. Okay. Blue? Oh, that, that didn't work. Oh, wait. Did that work? I'm, I'm not sure if it's just... We did it! I think it's just Ollie that can do the counterattack. I could be wrong. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even pressing next. Okay, fine. No, no, no! Dang it. I should know better. I should have known better. Just get out there. Just get out there. Go. go attack. No time to waste. Nice. Level up, Jason. There you go. Have another have another level. Alright, we need to go straight south. Here we go. Now I'm gonna cast that spell. So, uh, spirit medium, quick and growth. Nice. Now we can jump in the mushrooms. Boing, 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 boing. Run away, run away! Get away, Tyke! Get away! <sighs> the enemy has Let's the upper go. hand. Not if I could run away. Can we just can we just run like this? Like Come on, Mr. Drippy. Drop something good for me. Hurry up! Drop it! Oh, that was bad timing. Bad timing. Alright, provisions. Ooh. We're at 20. We add 30. There we go. Alright. Get him! Get him, Jazz Jack! Get him! Thank you. We should probably eat a sandwich or something, you know, get our health back up. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Um, inventory, go here. It's gonna be our last one. Okay, that's okay. We're almost through the forest. We're almost through. No! Jump! Jump! Jump away! We can do this! Just, okay. Ah, I couldn't even defend it. There we go. Get out there. I wonder, can he just not attack if I'm doing this? I guess I'm not doing any attacks, am I? Need 
I thought maybe if I kept switching them and I attacked just beforehand, they'd like get in one attack, but then I'd pull them back and they couldn't attack them. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It was a thought. Oliver's reached a level 11. A level 11. A level 11. 11 to 11. <gasps> Yay! It's a purpley chest. It seems to be sealed by some... Oh, sorry. It seems to be sealed by some... Whatever. Okay. Uh, spells and spring lock. <gasps> Oliver's current wand is not ma uh, powerful enough to open this chest. Dang it. No, wait. What was that? Um... This is, it's not... It's a wand of some kind. Okay. Um, okay. A spear with a tip made from semi-transparent ice that is... Distinned? Distinned? Destined never to melt. That is destined to never melt. Plus six, plus three. So regular attacks is a six. Magical attacks is plus three. Element of water. So it is something that can be used, but I don't think any of my characters can use it at the... Oh, I got a new character. Hey, bye, dude. Oh, get it! Now what happens if you don't have that on? Okay, so your normal attack is eight, 28, 14, 31. So your magical attack goes up too, so... Nice. What about this? Can't do that. Can't do that one either. Hmm. Okay, fine. We're good. We're good. We're gonna save. Are you sure you want to save your progress? Yes. Yes, I do. We're gonna take a quick peek over here. Nothing. And I think we are through the forest. Unless there's a boss fight. Oh, please let there be a boss fight. That would be a great way to end the episode. Hello? Hello? Look, Mr. Drippy. It's a fountain. But it's all dried up. Deary, deary me! This is... This ain't too pretty, is it? But now we know what the problem is, at least. We do? Well, this is the spring of life, ain't it? It's what put all the plenty in the forest of plenty. The reason the fairies have sc have scampered and has sc scampered, scampered, and the tree that the familiar egg was in was all withered was because the spring has the spring by here has run dry. Of all the low moves, who would have done something like this? Proper despicable! It, I, uh oh, what's wrong, Mister Drippy? I've got a feeling in my lantern that the culprit is about to appear. He is? Trust me, Mon. It's how these things always happen. I knew it. See? Gladiator, Guardian of the Golden Grove. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm I'm gonna cast some spells at him. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Um, what kind is he? It doesn't say what kind he is. Let's just try a fireball. That does 16. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's try to defend. Nice. And spells. Let's try frostbite. Oh, 31. Oh, give me that. Give me that. It's a free attack. Yes, burning hearts. Everblade, what is burning heart? What in the world? What was that? Oh, he just threw... Oh, he is mad. Alright, buddy. Give me a frostbite. 
That hurts. Nope, not fireball. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Get him, Jazz Jack. Oh, we are not doing much damage, are we? All right, come back, dude. Come back. He's like super mad. I got a bad feeling about this, Ollie boy. He looks like he's about to something. Put your guard up. Defend. Headlong rush. Oh my goodness. I defended way too late. All right, we need to use some provisions. Provisions. Oh gosh, sandwich. Eat it, eat it, eat it, please. Woo! Go get that, go get that. And headlong rush, but I don't want to do it too fast. And defend. Nice. Oh, I know. Hold on a second, Ali boy. Go, Mr. Drippy. Take this, you big bully. Oh, tidy. Now you've got a chance, man. Now's, chance. Now's my chance for what? What? Spells. Frostbite. Do it. Uh, that was not much. Try it again. Frostbite. Do it. One more. Frostbite. Uh, that's doing 34. Why not? Woo! Alright, now we can throw out this guy and... Do it, Jizz Jack! <laughs> go, go get the things! Go get the things! We won! I didn't get them in time. <sighs> How much experience points? Yes! 195. Look! You're already level 7! You just joined us. Spirit of the Glade. Uh, shem, shem min, 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 I can never pronounce the name. Has reached level 11. Jason West has reached level 7. And, oh, Gladiator. You obtained a page describing the Gladiator. The Gladiator. I'm sorry. You're gonna be. Take that. <laughs> Thank goodness that horrible creature is gone. That wasn't any old creature, Ollie boy. That was the guardian of this here forest. Guardian? You mean like the guardian of the woods? That I do. It's just like I said. It's like I said, ain't it? Life force can make things pop up all over the place. And in places like the forest, the desire of the inhabitants to protect their home gives birth to massive guardian beasties. See? Beasties like that one, you fought over in the deep dark woods, and the lad we just met. I don't know if you noticed, but his eyes were proper funny. Do you think, Shadar? I wouldn't be surprised if he had had a hand in sort and sordid in this sordid little affair, drying up the spring just like the kind of low life down low down trick. Wow, the kind of low down trick he'd play. Nickers, we'll the well the guardian is back to his old self, but we are going to have we are going to do about the spring of life, hmm? I've been thinking about that, Mr. Drippy. We healed the tree with the egg with the spell, didn't we? Could we maybe do the same spell to restore the spring of life? That's clever of you, Holly boy. Reckon some of my brains must be rubbing off on you. Give it a try, my lad. All right, Mr. Drippy. I sure hope it works. I'm having problems, like, reading, just in general. Now, should I go down there first? Check to see if there's any anything I can get. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. All right, uh, rejuvenate. I almost didn't have enough magic for that. Oh, I guess it doesn't cost anything, does it? Yay! I love this game. So, so this is the real spring of life. It's so pretty. It is indeed. 
and now the Guardian and the Spring are back to their normal selves. The fairies won't be far behind. Tidy. Neato, I sure hope we can meet the fairies the next time that we're here. Me too, Ollie boy. Me too. Right, to Al Mamun. Yes, sir. The purity at the heart of the Spring of Life has unlocked the story and has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. The Shepherd Boy. You obtained a new tale of wonder. Nice. Should we read the tale of wonder? No, it's 35 minutes in. Let's get out of here. If you'd like to read the tale of wonder, there is a uh, a PDF version of the book of the Wizard's Companion out there on the internet. You can go and find it. Um, wait. Is there a save point? Oh, I guess I can save here, can't I? There we go, save. Great new save data. Done and done. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Nino Kuni with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really your choice in the end. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <sighs>